Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 5.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 6 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have the mass in kilograms of an ice chest and it's shown in expanded notation here. And we need to write it as a numeral. So first, let's make sure we understand this means standard form. So we need to take this expanded notation, which is, is a series of multiplication problems all added together. We just need to put it into numbers. And seeing as how uh, we don't have any A, B, C, or D options to choose from, we are going to have to put it into our gradable response here. So we can go and at least put a place for that right here. And in the fifth grade, what we have is we've got a decimal point right there and then we've got two places to the right of that decimal point three places to the left of that decimal point so how do we go ahead and turn this into from expanded notation into standard form well since we know that our answer document has five total places three to the left of the decimal two to the right let's go ahead and draw that right here so I'm just going to make myself my little place value chart here. But I'm going to give myself some room because I want to go ahead and label it. So right next to my decimal point, right to the left, is going to be my ones. And that's a little bit different than what we've learned in the past. The ones place always used to be the farthest to the right. But now it's the farthest to the right until we hit that decimal point. Because there are some digits that are some places that are smaller than ones. But moving to the left, we've got ones, we've got tens, we've got hundreds. So that's, that's what we've known since first grade is the ones, tens, and hundreds. What we began to learn in fourth grade is that in the decimal place, we have exactly to the right of the decimal point, we have tenths. So it's like tens, but with the THS. And then we've got hundredths, once again like hundreds but it just has the THS. Now, once we have our place value chart like this labeled with the place values, now it's one more step and it's gonna be pretty easy to turn this expanded notation into standard form. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write the value of each of these places, right? So one is gonna be one, 10, it's gonna be 10, hundreds is gonna be 100 just like this, Tenth, right, it's going to be 0 0.1, hundredth, 0 0.01. Now that we have all of that information, up here, it's going to tell us where we are going to place our digit. So when it says times, look at the second number, times 10, times 1, times 1 tenth, times 1 hundredth. Those are the place value locations. The number in front is going to be the digit or the numeral that you're going to place in that spot. So 1 goes in the tens place because it's 1 times 10. We've got a 3 in the ones place because it's 3 times 1. We've got a 6 in the tenths place because it's 6 times 0 0.1. Then we've got a 1 in the hundredths place because it's 1 times 0 0.01. And so we have 13.61. There is no hundreds, so we're just going to ignore that. So make sure we put this in the right spot, right? We've got 13.61. And then all we need to do is make sure we bubble in the correct numbers, right? So 13 is going to be something like this. 6 is going to be down here. 1 is going to be up here. We do not need to place anything in that hundred spot. If you put a zero there, they're not going to mark it wrong, but we don't write 13013. We just leave that as a blank. So 13 and 61 hundredths is our answer.